Welcome to day two of CRM Analytics free course. Yesterday you created a very first Salesforce instance. So congratulations on that. But today we are going to do something exciting. Today you are going to create your first CRM Analytics app and get a tour of the CRM Analytics environment. So let's go take a look. The first step is to log into your personal Salesforce instance. This is the instance that you created yesterday. When you log into your Salesforce instance, you will log in or you will see the setup page. You want to come to the Analytics Studio because that's where all the fun, exciting things happen. So to get to Analytics Studio, simply click on this waffle, this one. When you click on it, you should see the first option as Analytics Studio. In case you don't see Analytics Studio as your first option, you can simply type in Analytics Studio here and then select this option. Now, when you click on it, it is going to open a new tab. Now, like I said, this is going to be a home page. This is where you're going to access your dashboards, your lenses, your data sets, and so on. Now, let's quickly take a tour of the Analytics Studio environment. So the landing page is the home page. This is where you see all the recently updated uh, lens data sets dashboards. These are all the things that you created. Okay. If you want to look at all the lens data sets dashboards that are available in the environment, you can simply click on browse. And when you click on browse, it will show you a list of all the items. You can then filter by apps by dashboards, by components, lens, stories, data sets, templates, and so on. You can also apply filters and you can see, you know, you can maybe look at dashboards created by some person. You can look at dashboards that were created in the previous month and so on. If there are certain dashboards that are your favorites or you want to add to your favorites, uh, those will appear in this particular section. Now CRM analytics also has notifications. So you can actually select notification on a dashboard widget and specify the conditions and when those conditions are met you will be notified on your salesforce mobile app you will be notified in this particular place and salesforce will also send you a notification that uh, an event has occurred you can also subscribe to reports and dashboards so let's say if you want uh, sales reports or dashboards to be sent out to you every morning you can schedule those through subscriptions and we will take a look at it during the course you can also create a collection so let's say if you have multiple dashboards if you have 10 dashboards for sales for, uh, for, for sales another 20 dashboards for service you can actually create collections that way uh, it becomes your one place uh, stop to take a look at all the dashboards that you frequently access this is your learning center. When you come to learning center, Salesforce uh, will give you step-by-step -step instructions on learning CRM analytics. So use this as a companion to this course, right? If you have any questions, if you want to look at maybe how to integrate data, how to explore data, how to build an app, come to the learning center and explore that. Okay. <clears throat> there are also training sessions that Salesforce offers. So you can simply click on this and take a look at all the events. There's a Trailblazer community. So if you have any questions, use the Trailblazer community. If you click on this link, it will take you to the Trailblazer community. You can ask a question. And as you can see, there are several people, members of the Salesforce community who are available to answer any questions that you might have. So please, please use that as your resources. You have developer resources and you also have your learning map. The next piece is data manager. We will do a complete tutorial on data manager, but this is a place where uh, you will monitor your jobs or you'll monitor your uh, ETL processes or your transformation processes, your recipes, your usage, your connections. So for example, if you want to bring in data from SQL, you want to bring in data from, from, uh, from Azure, this is where you set up all those connections. Okay. Then you have your template gallery. I am a big, big, big fan of template gallery. And here is why. When you click on template gallery, you will see that Salesforce has already pre-installed certain things for you. So for example, if your leadership comes to you and wants to understand customer insights analytics, you can simply click on this and Salesforce will, will do all the transformations and will also create dashboards for you. And that is exactly what we are going to see today. All right. And then finally, like I said, there is a strong community. The Salesforce has an amazing community. So if you have any questions, please make sure that you use that community. All right. So like I said, today 
is a day when you create your very first app in CRM analytics. So to do that, simply click on create. When you click on create, CRM analytics gives you several options. You can create an app, a dashboard, a component, a story, a data set. In today's video, we are going to create an app. So simply click on app and then you can create a blank app, but we are going to explore the templated apps. So search sales here. And then the app that we are going to install is called the sales analytics app. So simply click on sales analytics app and click on continue. Now, when you click on continue, Salesforce will give you a preview of everything that CRM analytics is going to create. So it tells you features. So it's telling you that there's going to be embedded dashboards. They are going to be mobile ready. It's all pre-built dashboards, pre-built le uh, pre lenses, data flows and KPI rich data sets. It's also telling you all the objects that this particular app is going to use in your Salesforce instance. Okay. Then it is telling you all the dashboards that it is creating and we'll get to these dashboards in just a minute, but you can see a quick preview of the app. So this is one dashboard. This is our sales analytics dashboard. These are, this is your leaderboard. So it's telling you which sales rep is doing exceedingly well. Uh, then it will also create a trending dashboard where you can see pipeline changes for a given period. You can see the beginning and ending values. And you can also do sales stage analysis. And finally, you can do white space analysis. Okay. I'm going to click on continue. And once I click on continue, Salesforce will start to build everything from scratch. I'm going to click on create a brand new app and click on continue. And then Salesforce is going to check a few things. It's going to make sure that the minimum requirements are, are, are met. It has all the permissions to access the fields. And then when the data looks good, this button gets activated. So you can simply click on looks good next. Now it will ask you how you would like to create sales analytics. For today's video, we are simply going to use the basic. This is completely out of the box. So let's start with that and then click on looks good next. Now let's give it a name or let's call it my first sales analytics app and click on create. And when you click on create Salesforce will start performing all these operations behind the scenes. Remember you can exit the screen as the app is getting installed. Once the app is installed, you will get an email notification. So now in my case, the app has successfully installed. I can see it here. So I'm going to simply click on my first sales analytics app. And as you can see, there are several things that CRM analytics has installed for me. There are dashboards and several dashboards, right? The first thing that I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at summary of opportunity. I want to see what is going on with all my deals. And this is a beautiful dashboard that CRM analytics has created for me. It is telling me the age of the opportunity. It is giving me the, the product breakdown. It is also giving me the activity breakdown. If I want to click on view details, I can click on view details and it will give me a breakdown of these particular products. I can also look at summary of account. So let's do that. And when I click on summary of account, I get similar analysis for accounts as well. The next thing that I can do is I can simply click on accounts to see what is going on with my accounts. What does the health of accounts tells me? So when I click here, it's going to open a brand new dashboard and look at this beautiful dashboard. It is telling me the average sales cycle. It is telling me the opportunity age, the win rate, how many cases were created in my Salesforce opportunity. I can filter these opportunities. These are all the top, top accounts that we have won. I can say I want by open pipe and it will give me a list of opportunities. Not just that, I can see deals. I can click on products. So I know that laptop, light laptop are the products that are loved by our customers. I can see all the activities. I can look at cases by type. So I can see about 1400 cases or 1448 cases were closed. If I want the entire detail in a tabular format, I also have that option. Now, another thing of CRM analytics is called faceting. And what I mean by faceting is if I simply click on this particular account, all the other charts are filtered accordingly, right? So when let's take a look at it again. So when I click on Harris 13, you can see this particular chart changed. 
but I can also see for that particular account, the top product is mega laptop. I can see there are four open activities for that particular account. I can get all the opportunities for that particular account. And this is absolutely amazing because I can select any account and do analysis or get further insights into that account. Congratulations, you created your first Salesforce CRM analytics app. And that's it for today. Tomorrow, you're going to create your very first data set. If you completed your day two, make sure to take a picture, post it on social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And do not forget to tag me. I would love to connect with you. So do check out the social links in the description below. I hope day two was fun and I'll see you tomorrow for another day of CRM analytics fun.